It is that time again, the headache of doing taxes or doing your taxes, getting them filled out. But you know what? There is a way you can do this for absolutely free. Susie Reels joining us from the uh, West Ark RSVP uh, in Fort Smith. Susie, thank you so much for coming in. RSVP, Retired and Senior Volunteer Program. What is it all about? Well, we are an or uh, a grant funded organization that recruits people that are at least 55 years of age to volunteer. And one of our primary focuses is on economic opportunity and development. And so we have 50 volunteers that are involved with our tax services. One of the biggest things you guys have ever done is, yes. fill, is, is fill out taxes for free. And this has really taken off over the last yes. number yes. of years. Yes, it has. We did a nearly 2,700 returns last year. All for free. All for free. That's amazing. All right, now there are some guidelines yes, for, there are. for that. What are folks need to bring in and who can come in? Well, we have both a tax counseling for the elderly and a volunteer income tax assistant grant, so we can help people that are age 60 and older regardless of what their incomes are, so there's no limits there. If you're under 60, uh, we ask that your income be 52000 or less, except for we will help people that received unemployment insurance last year or are currently unemployed. There's no income limit for them. And we will do active duty military without any consideration any, for any income. Any income guidelines. Any okay. income guidelines at all. There are some hours that you have to follow. And we have a graphic that will show that in just a second. Um, you're located at uh, 13th and Grand in yes. Fort Smith. Let's talk about the hours. Here's that graphic. It's, it's, it's Monday through Saturday. Yes. So you guys are busy. Yes. We don't do Saturdays in March. But other than that, we do it six days a week through April 15th. Monday and Tuesday, 9 to 6. Wednesday and Thursday, 9 to 4. And then Friday and Saturday, 9 to 1. And, and if, you, if you get there right at 9 o'clock, there's a line out the door. Yes, I've there is. That over yeah, the last we, we've of years. had lines a couple blocks long the first week in February. But if you get there at 1 minute to 6 on Monday or Tuesday, we will start we'll your return. It. Yeah. Okay. That's the time we close the doors to new returns. A couple of things new this year. One, uh, there is now a location in Northwest Arkansas in yeah. Rogers. Now, how did that come about? Well, we actually got an expansion to our grant, and instead of just doing Sebastian and Crawford County, we we're expanding, and we were asked to pick up Benton, Carroll, and Madison counties. So we have an office for that location in Rogers, Arkansas. It's at 114 North 34th Street in Rogers, and there's the phone number as well, too, at 636-0578. St same stipulation at that office as well? No, it is just a tax, it's a much smaller, physically smaller site than our, our building here. And they are doing tax counseling for the elderly only. So okay. if you have to be 60, one of your primary members on your return has to be at least 60 years of age. And they're doing theirs by appointment because they don't have the room that we do to have a waiting room and things like that. So they're appointment only at the Rogers location and, it's, and that, that location is just off Walnut. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. It's got a nice light with a left-hand turn light. So the best thing for this is, is to call that 636 number because yes. you have to make an appointment right. at the Rogers right. office. And they won't start operating until February 3rd. Okay, so we still have a few more weeks. Yeah. So there's that number again, 636-0578. Also new, if you don't want to go visit your lovely folks at these yes. offices, there's, a, there's still a way to do this for free yes. and it's online. Now, how did that happen? Well, we joined the National Community Tax Coalition and one of the services they let, we found out about is that we're able to participate by, if you, if you go into our website, which is westarkrsvp.org, we will have a link to a website that will allow you to do your taxes. There's both, that website right there. Both state and uh, federal for free if you still meet a, our income requirement of being under 52000 So for students, people with one W-2 that don't like to stand in lines in the cold, <laughs> uh, for people who are just really wanting this done fast, uh, this is what they can do. It's, a, it's amazing how many folks ha have taken advantage of this once the word gets out. Yes. Um, and and I've, I've, I've had some people tell me they've gotten more out of a return by doing this than they have anywhere else. Well, our volunteers don't want anybody to pay a penny more in taxes than they have to, but they want people to have good, clean, accurate returns. So they take the time. I have a lot of really intelligent, well-educated, well-trained uh, volunteers with a lifetime of experience and they know the tax code. How are you able to do this? I know, I know you've been talking about these grants. Where, where do those come from and you have to write and ask yes. for them and, and every year? Yes, we we're really lucky this year for the first time we've got both a TCE and a VITA grant which allowed us to replace all of our hardware. Uh, we are on our third set of computers. We have just completely right? worn them out. Uh, we uh, get some money from the city of Fort Smith for this program uh, and then we sometimes get donations. Uh, we get some gift money from uh, state legislators. Uh, it's nickel and diamond putting it together. 
every year it's kind of a hold your breath and see how much we're going to be able to do. So. Now, now, as far as those who come in, who made the guidelines, what do they need to bring with them? Because you just can't walk, I'm assuming you can walk in with your, your W-2s, but you have to have other stuff. Yes, you well. do. You have to have an actual Social Security card for everybody you want on your return. Uh, not a copy, not the numbers the written card. down. The card. Okay. Uh, and we can help you get a replacement card or information from Social Security that'll work for us if you don't have your cards. You have to have a photo ID for, for uh, the primary on the returns. If it's a married filing jointly, you need both photo IDs. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you need all your tax information, your W-2s, all of them. Please, please don't come in, file a return, and then think you're going to be bop in the next week when you get that last W-2. We don't do amended returns okay. our prior years until March 1st. Okay. So you can get yourself in a big hole if you don't get your stuff together once. Uh, you get all your information together, uh, you come in and we'll screen you first and if you're missing something we'll give you a list of what you need and get you back. Okay, again the office in Fort Smith, 13th and Grand uh, in Fort Smith and there's the address there in the, in the hours and then the office, the brand new office uh, in Rogers, Arkansas at 114 North 34th Street. Susie, thank you so much for coming in. I know you're, it's, you're busy now, so thanks for coming in, and best of luck with this. Sounds like a great program. Well, thank you so much. We really depend on uh, y'all's help. Most of the people, a lot of people we help, this is how they get their news. Sure. It's okay.